What's up guys, welcome back to my Borderlands the Pre-Sequel Unique Weapon Guide and today we're going to be going over the Wallop. Now the Wallop is uh, like the ice cream and the two scoops in the sense that uh, you have to pick between one or the other. Um, basically, uh, to get this gun, you want to go out into like Virago Solitude and go to the right of the map. There are two side missions to the right of the map. The first one you can get to is the mission you want to go for. And I think it's called Guardian Hunter or Guardian Protector. I think it's Guardian Hunter, come to think of it. We'll see once the clip pops up here. But I'm pretty sure it is Guardian Hunter, yes. And you're going to hunt Guardians, one of every element. And it's kind of like Pokemon in the sense we have to weaken them before throwing like a, a orb that will turn them into red energy and suck them in like a Pokeball. Uh, I don't know if that's a Pokemon reference at all. But it, it seemed like one, so and of course the entire side mission isn't, but it just that aspect of it seemed very, very Pokemon. But yeah, you could either uh give them to uh Sterwin, he's gonna like change his mind about like uh capturing them and be like, Whoa no, we can't we can't hand them over like that, they're like living beings, blah 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 blah. I don't know. I didn't think anyone on uh Elpis or Pandora had a conscience, but apparently they do. Um but if you turn into him, you get uh, something called the Asteroid the asteroid Shield. It's a doll shield that shoots asteroids, apparently. I haven't tried it out yet. I have it. I haven't tried it out yet. That'll probably be the next video I do. Um, or you could go ahead and um, uh, turn it into this Mr. Freeze-looking guy, the, the Master Poacher dude, and he will give you the gun. Now, I can't really say which one is better than the other until we get to, like, next video, but obviously they serve different purposes. I mean, they're both offensive in a way, but obviously, you know, heal the gun, they're, they're two completely different things. You can't really hold one over the other, um, unless one's really that bad. But uh, here's the wallop. It's basically like the Stomper um, from Borderlands 2. It has a, a, a pretty large uh, critical hit multiplier. And it's a Jacob's Rifle. So it's ba it may just be like a renamed reskin version. I... Part of me thinks that they buffed the crit damage for it, because I think in Borderlands 2 is like 70-something. I don't know. I don't know that for a fact, but basically it's it's just a stomper. Um, however, uh, there is a character that makes very, very good use of this in Esnisha, because her slowdown allows you to just pop in straight up on their crits and hit them most of the time, and just completely wreck them. Now, obviously, this isn't one of her go-to guns, but it is the best, uh, she is the best character to use it with by far, easily. Like, you probably don't want to run this on an Athena, uh, I don't know if you want to run this on a Claptrap or a Wilhelm, but part of me thinks this is just a gun you don't want to run. Basically, I see this gun being useful if you're running through normal or through alternative mode as Nisha and you need a good gun that will work well with your slowdown. That's if you don't have a laser to work off of. And around the time you can get this gun, your, your Viber Pulse is kind of dying down. So it's probably not too bad of an idea to pick this up if you're leveling a Nisha. Um, but yeah, that... I pretty much only see this gun really working on her. Now, of course, you know, every character can make use of it to, like, a, a certain extent, but she's easily, easily the best, because she just pop on those crits. Take away, you know, anybody's, because I know I'm really bad at aiming, just take that, take that poor, poor ability to not aim away, and just pop them in the face a few times with some bullets. Now, this, again, this isn't really a gun you really want to go for, but if you're running through the game, it's a nice gun to have, especially if you're playing a Lawbringer. But, but yeah, we'll see if the Asteroid's any better. Again, this isn't bad, it's it's decent and pretty good on Nisha, but we'll see if the Asteroid's any better if shooting Asteroids from your body at people is actually uh, worth it or not. Is, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Could it be worth it? It's, it's the moral choice to give the Guardians back to Sterwin, but... I don't know, that guy just shattered in the pieces right there. I don't want to fall to pieces. I, I won't sink. But anyway, guys. Um, th so that's the Walloper. Uh, basically, again, just a stomper. And, uh, yeah, it does make pretty short work of this badass, though. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, guys, I want to thank y'all for watching. I very much appreciate it. Next episode, we'll do the Asteroid. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to see you guys later. Bye.